This is my Trek Crockett that has just ridden the Three Peaks Cyclocross race. Full video of that will be coming to GCN very shortly, but I thought I'd take you through it right now because there's some interesting bits on there, I think, not least the fact that there is a survival bag taped to the underside of my saddle. More on that a little bit later. Uh, so the Trek Crockett is Trek's aluminium cyclocross bike. So it's a little bit heavier than their carbon boot. It's a bit less compliant, no ISO speed decouplers on there, but arguably it's a little bit more versatile. Tire clearance is a bit bigger, so you could squeeze much, much wider tires on there. And it's also the hipster's choice because it's got this funky little drop out of the back that actually allows you to run it single speed. Uh, none of those are the reasons why uh, I'm riding it. I just liked it. This is the third one I've had. In fact, uh, they took the black Crockett that I had last year back and then replaced it with this one, which could probably only be described as some kind of celeste color. Now, I imagine perhaps they were just uh, doing it to annoy John Cannings. But uh, anyway, there we go. So the, the Trek Crockett frame remains the same. Group set is SRAM Force One by. It's actually the same one that was on my bike last year. The exception this time is that you can see I've got a red chain set on there with a quark power meter. Now that's actually left over from the shoot in Alta Badia where we were doing some science with this bike. Uh, and the reason it's a red crank is because I borrowed Lloydie's power meter. He very kindly lent it to me. Uh, and on there is just a 40 tooth chain ring. So uh, a little bit smaller than I normally run, but with good reason, because these hills are absolutely brutal. At the back, I've got a 10 to 42 cassette on there and I'll see a uh, Force One by Mech to cope with that with the uh, clutch system on there. No form of chain retention up front. Uh, pedals are Shimano XT mountain bike pedals. I'll be quite honest, I've been using the same worn out mountain bike pedals for probably the last five or six years. And so I have invested this year in a new set and it's made a world of difference. So I'm quite glad about that. Uh, right, finishing kit, We've got Physique seat post and Serrano stem on there. Some new Bontrager carbon handlebars. Uh, which again came off one of Lloydie's bikes. The reason being, they're really nice and wide, 44 centimeters wide, which I think is absolutely perfect for cyclocross, or at least for me anyway. And then I've got a Physique Arione saddle on there. That also is a carbon number. I've got carbon rails on there. Uh, right, what are the other bits then? You, you'll see there's a notable absence of a water bottle cage. Now that is not intentional. I did race with one, but uh, I perhaps hadn't talked up the bolts quite as much as I needed to given the conditions. And so I was forced to firstly jettison my water bottle on the last descent, and then the water bottle cage actually jettisoned itself soon after I got off the bottom of it. So, uh, so sadly, there is a rather nice elite carbon bottle cage somewhere in the Yorkshire Dales. Uh, hopefully someone worthy picked it up, basically, because it was in very good condition. Uh, then I've got that saddlebag. So one of the uh, things that makes the Three Peaks quite unique is that you're racing in some pretty exposed terrain. And so the organizers stipulate that you need a survival bag with you. Now I've chosen to stick mine underneath my seat. Um, it keeps it out of the way. And instead of then running a saddlebag, I've got an inner tube uh, taped to my top tube up there. I went with just one inner tube this time and kept my fingers firmly crossed. Now up front, I've got my Wahoo Element Bolt, which uh, to be fair, I didn't upload the route because I was relatively familiar with it. But it's quite interesting seeing my power when I was riding. Um, although unfortunately, when you look at the average for the day, given how much walking there is involved, it's fairly pitiful. Uh, I've also got a GoPro attached to the bike. Now, these aren't normally allowed in British cycling sanctioned races, so we had to apply for a permit, which they very kindly granted us. So hopefully some of that footage will look pretty cool. I should imagine it will look quite bumpy if it's anything like what I was feeling through the handlebars. Now, given the ridiculously rocky conditions that you find at Three Peaks, Wheel choice tends to be quite traditional, aluminium wheels. So these are Zips 303s uh, and they're the disc specific ones. So it means I've got the dimples right down to the edges for aerodynamics. Of course, when you've got a 35 millimeter wide tire on there, then that kind of plays more havoc with aerodynamics than uh, anything else. But nevertheless, they're really good. You can set them up tubeless. So that was absolutely perfect for this. 
And then tires, I went for 35 millimeter wide tires. So as broad as you're allowed in this race. Uh, and I ran them quite hard. I went for 45 PSI. Basically, I just really didn't want to end up with a puncture. So I ran them a little bit firmer in the hope that that would then keep them inflated. But it gives you a rough ride, let's put it that way. So uh, there's a bit of a trade-off. I think if you were running inner tubes, you'd probably have 60, 65 PSI in there. Um, so they did their job, let's put it that way, even if it was a little bit bumpy. So that is my Trek Crockett Three Peaks Cyclocross bike. Make sure you get involved in the comments section down below. Let me know what you think of it. Are you a John Cannings? And what do you think about Celeste for a start? I will be in the comments section as well, hopefully answering any questions that you might have. Now, if you want to watch the actual video of three, the Three Peaks itself uh, with Oscar Puyol of uh, GCN and Espanol, which is uh, going to be particularly interesting to see how he fares, then that one will be up on GCN very shortly indeed, so make sure you stay tuned for that. And then if you want to see one of the exploits that I ended up doing on last year's uh, cyclocross slash gravel bike, where I ended up racing Neil from GMBN, you can get through to that one just by clicking on screen now.